Good morning, I'm Evangelist Matthew Lee, and welcome to today's edition of From Heaven at Seven. Family, the portion of scripture we're going to be reading from today comes from the book of Psalms, chapter 13, verses 4 to 6 from the Passion Translation, and it reads as follows. Don't let my enemy proclaim, I've prevailed over him, for all my adversaries will celebrate when I fall. Lord, I have always trusted in your kindness, so answer me. I will yet celebrate with passion and joy when your salvation lifts me up. I will sing my song of joy to you, the Most High, for in all of this you have strengthened my soul. My enemies say that I have no Savior, but I know that I have one in you. Wow, family, isn't that portion of scripture just lining up so perfectly with what we've been discussing during the course of this week? As we can see in the scripture, King David has adversaries that are against him, adversaries that will celebrate his downfall. What kind of evil people will celebrate the downfall of a good godly king like King David, even though he had his issues, he was still a good and godly king and he loved the Lord. What kind of people would want somebody to fall? Clearly evil people, family, and these people are standing against him. What kind of situation are we living in the world around us, family? Evil people are standing against Christians and they rejoice and celebrate when Christians fall. They rejoice and celebrate when a pastor makes a mistake and falls, and perhaps falls into sin or says something wrong from the pulpit or says something, you know, that gets them into trouble. People celebrate that family, evil people around us. We live in times like what David was saying here, but what did David do in the situation? It's exactly what we must do, family. He said there, I've always trusted in your kindness, so answer me. He is putting his faith in the Lord. He knows that the Lord has always answered him in the past. So he's putting his faith in the Lord. And this is exactly what he did when he slayed Goliath family. He put his faith in the Lord. He knew that the Lord had given him strength in the past to slay the lion and the bear while he was still a shepherd boy. So he knew and believed that God would give him the strength to save the to slay the uncircumcised Philistine Goliath, who was standing against him, he put his faith in the Lord and he proclaimed what the Lord would do that day. And the Lord gave him victory over Goliath. And we can see this here, that he's doing the exact same thing again. He has always trusted in God's kindness and he knows that God is going to answer him. And he says there what he's going to do when the Lord answers him. He says, I will celebrate with passion and joy when your salvation lifts me up. I will sing my song to you most high, for in this time you have strengthened my soul. You see, family, we must praise God in the storm. We must proclaim the promises of God. We must proclaim the goodness of God in the storm. And when we're facing our mountains and when we're facing Goliath, like what David did when he faced Goliath, like what David is doing when he has these adversaries against him, we must do the same thing, family. We must confess what the Lord is going to do. We must Look back at our lives and see how the Lord has been good in our lives and what he has done for us. Look back at our testimonies. And if the Lord has done it for us in the past, he will certainly do it for us again, family. We must have faith in that. And we must praise God in the storm before we even receive the victory. Start confessing, start proclaiming, start praising him because we have faith. You see, when we praise God in the storm, we are showing God that we have faith in him to deliver us from that, to save us from that, to save us from those people or those situations and circumstances, family. It's showing God our faith and God is moved by our faith. So I want to encourage you going forward, praise God in the storm and he will save you like he did with David there. He said, my enemies say that I have no savior, but I know that I have one in you. David knew that he had a savior in the Lord and that is why he cried out before the Lord. That is why he prayed in the Lord pray to the Lord. That is why he praised the Lord. That's why he put his trust in the Lord and the Lord delivered him family. And the Lord will do the same for you. The Lord will do the same for I. He will do the same for all of us family. Because that is who God is. That is how much he loves us. And that is how much he's moved by our faith. When we praise him in the storm, when we praise him in the difficult times, when we remain steadfast in him, in the storms and in the trials and tribulations that are going on around us, family, as we've been saying throughout the week. So going forward, I want to encourage you, praise God, praise God in the storm, keep your faith and hope and trust in him. Know that he is your solid rock, your foundation that cannot be shaken, family, and know that he will see you through these difficult times. He will see you victorious over your enemies. He will see you victorious over every trial and circumstance that you are going through at the moment because you have put your faith 
and trust and hope in him alone to save you from it. Watch, family. Thank you, family. I hope that this message has blessed you and encouraged you. And before I end, I'd just like to close in prayer. Father God, we come to you in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you for this day, that this is the day that you have made and we can rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, we thank you even in these times that we're going through where the evil people around us are standing against Christians, are standing against your church, and maybe evil people around us are standing against individuals listening to this message, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that we can put our faith and hope and trust in you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for our testimonies, Lord, of the situation is situations that you've brought us out of in the past, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, that we can look to those and know that if you've done it in the past, you will do it again, Lord. We can look at the Bible and see if you've done it in the Bible, you will do it for us, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, that you are stirring up our faith, Lord, to believe that you will deliver us from these people and these circumstances, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, that we know that you are our Savior and you will do it, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, that you are showing yourself strong on our behalf today and each and every day going forward, Lord. And we pray, Lord, that you will just be with us, protect us, lead us, guide us, bless us, and keep us, Lord, throughout today and this weekend, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, that we'll be able to return safely again on Monday to hear more messages like this one, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, for the messages that we're going to receive on Sunday as well as we watch the church services online or in person, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We give you alone all the praise, the glory, and the adoration. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thanks for watching my video. I trust that the message blessed you and encouraged you. And if it did, I'd like to ask you to please hit the share button to spread this message and share it with your friends and family on social media so that they too may be blessed by this message. And before you leave, please give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment, let me know what you think about the contents of the video. And I'd like to invite you to please come back and join me for more episodes of From Heaven at 7, which premiere live every Monday to Friday at 7 a.m. Central African time on my Facebook page as well as my YouTube channel where the replays of the videos remain for those who are unable to watch the live premiere. If you watched this message today and were touched by this message and feel like you want to give your heart to the Lord and make the decision to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, I would love to invite you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says salvation. And if you watched this message and felt blessed by it and feel led to sow a seed into the ministry, I'd like to encourage you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says giving. Alternatively, at the bottom of the screen right now is the ministry's banking details as well as our Snapscan QR code. And lastly, I would just like to ask you to please go and like and follow all my social media accounts if you haven't already to be kept up to date and in the loop with everything that's happening in the ministry and every time we upload a video just like this one. Thank you family. Enjoy the rest of your day and God bless. Yeah, 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 yeah.